winter time, and in winter time I always work on my my stuff. I just finished uh, three reel, three of my friends' reels, and um, I worked on um, on the hitch. I didn't do it, but I put up the video about the hitch. And now, since the bench was clear for the moment. Instead of moving on to other projects, this was under the bench. And what this is, is this the toilet tank for the fancy dancy aircraft toilet. Aircraft toilet that I use in my uh, trailer. It was given to me by a friend. And there's some issues with it. It was set up. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, there's a video back where I built a, um, I built a box in a cabinet in my trailer to use this. And I disconnected, there was a pump, and what they do on the aircraft is they put a liquid in here with um, deodorants and all that stuff, and they reuse the liquid that's in here to flush the toilet. Well, that's not mine. I didn't want that, so I got rid of the the pump that flushed the toilet, and I hooked it up to my water system in the in the trailer. If you haven't seen that, it's there's a video of me um, doing that. So anyway, what I found out is this baby's airtight. When you close this little duva, after you've done your business. It's airtight, and um, naturally that creates some problems because uh, waste causes um, makes a pressure. The waste makes a pressure. Methane gas, whatever you want to call it, but whatever it is, it makes a pressure. So what will happen is, I'm gone for the day, this is all shut up, and it's got waste in it. Um, it'll force liquid around here, to the extent that it come over here. Um, so I have to come up with some way to vent it. That's number one. And in the process of, of that creating pressure, it messed up this gasket here that goes right in here. Um, it, it was like glued in there, so I got to get some um, adhesive, but it's silicone adhesive, and put it back in. But in the meantime, the, the strainer that used to be, used to feed the pump, yeah, the pump would pull out of here, flush the toilet, and then drop back down here. The strainer's still in there. And if I'm going to vent this at any point, I need to get that strainer out of there. So this is a hole to the top of the tank. And then i got to figure out what I'm going to use to relieve the pressure in the tank. Um, I don't know how they beat these. I know I had the same type of problem with the cheap Coleman toilet that I owned. It built pressure and the, the, I kept thinking the tank had a leak in it. But it really didn't. It was just building pressure and able to bypass uh, the seals and stuff. So, um, I don't know. I got to come up with a way that I'm going to beat that. But the first thing I got to do is get that strainer out of here. Now, a lot of people would probably be grossed out by all of this, but um, part of my working life I spent as a pipe fitter working with other people's poop. So, I'm not exactly grossed out by all of this. It's natural. Um, 
You get your hands dirty, you don't put them in your mouth. You wash your hands a lot. I mean, you can put gloves on, but that takes away from your ability to, to feel what you're doing. This is the outside of the tank, by the way, so this isn't an issue. Um, this has all been disinfected out here. Yeah. And maybe once I get this off, I'll be able to clean out the inside of the tank a little bit. Too. But that's what we're doing today, and I thought, ah, heck, I'll throw a video up. Somebody might enjoy it. I don't imagine too many people have one of these toilets. Um, I happen to own two. Thanks to friends. I can't thank them enough. Um, I truly like my... I, I like the fact that I don't have to get up in the middle of the night and go outside. Either go outside or go outside to find a... Uh, I don't know how this is going to come apart. So I'm just screwing around. Um, either go outside or go outside and find a uh, toilet. In a campground or go outside. If I'm not in a campground, and find a place. Uh, this stops all of that. The other thing is you can pull the tank, you walk up to any bathroom, and you can dump it right in the toilet, which is, um, I like that a lot better than having to deal with plaque tanks. Um, I think a cassette toilet is definitely takes away from a lot of problems. Basically for me alone, um, this toilet lasts about three days. Three days! <laughs>